near. I can feel it. Wait, wait. I just need to catch my breath just a little bit. What? We can't rest now. Not when we're so close. But you're always saying that we're close. We've been close for the last couple of hours. Besides, do you even know what we're looking for? Well, of course. And I can assure you, you'll be very happy when we find it. I'm more convinced that the reason I'm here is so that you don't have to carry everything yourself. Well, I mean, one does not exclude the other. Come on, you usually love to go relic hunting. No, that is what you love to do. I'd rather be home trying to figure out how that talking box works. You know, what I was busy doing before you dragged me out here. And that is something you are able to do because we found it while relic hunting. See, it's a mutual interest. I'm just much better at enjoying the slow and uneventful process. Let's just find the thing. Whatever it is. You don't want to be out here when it gets dark. That's the spirit. Onward! should be safe to eat. Mm. Did you say something? Huh? Give me those! Mm, no, they're mine. You're not going to be able to eat them all anyway. Oh, um, watch me. Why don't we try to use the object sensor I fixed the other day? You were able to fix it? Why didn't you tell me earlier? That's such great news! Um, I mean... I fixed it. But then it broke once more. And now it works again! So how did you fix it the first time? Hmm... Maybe it was when I took it outside. What? So you just took it for a walk? Exactly! Which makes me think, it never works when we're home. But as soon as we go outside, it opens up and starts making those high-pitched noises. So by fixing it, you just showed it some light? Yes. That must be it. It eats light! That's weird! I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> something nearby. Awesome! Let's find it. Yuck! What is all this? Whoa! This is amazing! Look, this is stuff we can really use. See these pointy things? We can use them to attach things with other things. I don't like them. I always hurt my fingers when I try to hold them. You're not supposed to touch the pointy end. Here, hold them like this. Okay, careful. I'm holding them. Ouch! Don't touch the pointy end. I can't help it. I'm too curious. Stop being so curious all the time. You're a terrible brother. 
I only have good intentions. I don't believe you. Another one of those weird thingamajigs. My belief it's the third one we found. Or this one looks to be in much better shape than the previous ones. Hmm. You sure it won't crumple into dust if I look at it for too long? Not at all. It might look a little broken, but the material is actually really durable. What's this here? I'm not sure. Maybe it's missing a part or something. You better keep her eyes open. I told you, relic hunting is super fun. Uh-huh. To these for now. Hey, whoa! Give them back! No, you will only eat them. You gotta save some for later. Ooh, I was just admiring them. I'm not even hungry anymore. I don't trust you. been lost in this forest we've always been able to find our way home even when it feels like we're walking in the complete opposite direction well it's simple it's the forest spirit that guides us yeah right how can we even know that she really exists and if she does exist how would she be able to guide us it's not like she can uproot trees and create a perfect path for us hmm. don't tell me you believe that I mean why not like you're saying, we've always found our way back. Do you have any other explanation? That would need tremendous force. And we would probably have seen big marks on the ground, right? Maybe she can control our minds. You're not taking this seriously. Do we really have to know? Isn't it exciting to feel- Hello, little fellas! Don't mind us, just passing through. They're so cute. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, fruit! Spine fruit! Maybe we can find some around here. Eh? Uh, I don't think they grow around here. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm cute. No, I mean, I'm good. I'm all good. Let's keep going.
our way is blocked. It's very mushy and slimy. Whoa! Don't touch it! We have no idea what this thing is. Don't worry. I've seen hoplings grooming themselves on these. They seem to like the gooey coating. Ugh, gross. Wait, so you have seen these things before? Yeah, similar ones have appeared around the forest recently. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Hmm, well, maybe we can figure out a way to get past it. must have gotten lost. The little guy looks all dried up. We need to help him. Let's find some water for him, quickly. Whoa, come look. I found something. What is it? I don't know. It's like a stick with some sort of weird leaves attached to it. Are you sure? Here, let me see it. Hmm. What's this little twig sticking out? Ah! Uh, are you okay? What happened? I'm okay. It just scared me. But this is so cool! Look, this button seems to release pressure somewhere inside this tube here. I would love to take a closer look at it when we're back home. Hey now, I'm the one who found it. Besides, you will only take it apart like all the other relics. Of course. So we learn how they work. That is also how they break. Come on. I'm at least able to put half of them back together. Give them back to me. Fine. place to set up camp. Do we have the resources to set it up? I'm not sure. This, Iki. We don't even know what's in there. Exactly! That's why it's perfect! You know what I mean? It was like these are perfect homes for sharp tails. Even better! That means even the raiders wouldn't dare to explore in there. Seriously? How can you always be so reckless? Do you even care if you live or die? Of course I do! How can you say something like that? You're always running in head first without thinking. Why aren't you saying anything? Sharp tails! Oh no! Iki, what do we do? You look really hungry. Okay, stay calm. Remember the practice. Huh? What practice? Sorry, I was talking to myself. You've practiced fighting against sharp tails? Um, uh, more like air tails. Just 
follow my lead. Doesn't look very happy. We shouldn't have wandered into caves like these. Do you see now why even the raiders avoid coming here? Fine. You're right. It was very dangerous, and I promise to be more thoughtful from now on. That's... um... great. Thank you. Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Come on. Just look at us. We're not the same fragile children that we used to be. We're growing up, and we just prove that we can defend ourselves. <sighs> I did get some good wax in there. Fine, I get it. It makes sense that we get better at defending ourselves. The forest is very dangerous after all. But I definitely think we can be more careful. Look over there. I think I can see something. Were you even listening to me? we've never seen before. How can you possibly know this? Because of the raiders. I've seen them using these at night by their camps. It always smells amazing. What? You've been watching the raiders at night? I have. And if we would actually consider talking with them, we could probably learn so much more. No, we don't talk to the raiders. It's bad enough that you've been spying on them. Why didn't you tell me? And what if they see you? They could catch you and eat you! Come on! You're just blindly assuming they're bad. What if they're not that different from us? And with their help, we probably wouldn't end up with so many broken relics. Mm-hmm. 
just... Let me start by showing you how to use this relic. Maybe you'll even appreciate me spying on the raiders. <sighs> At least tell me why you haven't told me about this before. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Look, I started taking night strolls because I wanted to have a little time for myself. One night, I just happened to follow this amazing smell, and that's when I saw the raiders. Please don't be mad at me. Uh, I'm... I'm not mad at you. I'm just afraid that I would wake up one day and you wouldn't be there. But I've learned that I can't stop you from being... you. Come on, let's go home. It's been a very long day. Besides, you've made me curious about this new relic in the food. Cooking! The raiders call it cooking, and they call this relic a cauldron. <laughs> Just you wait, I will cook some fantastic food. Wanted to get home before it gets dark, right? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, wow! You can see everything from here. Look, there's our nest. Hey, so listen. I wanted to thank you. Oh? For what exactly? For dragging me out here today. I had fun. Even though we were nearly eaten by those shark tails. It's just, sometimes I feel like I'm only complaining and dragging you down all the time. I don't want to be like that and... I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I don't think you're complaining too much. I would say that you have a very... tolerable amount of complaints. So I do complain a lot. Listen. I wanted you to be here today. Otherwise, I wouldn't have dragged you with me. So, it doesn't bother you? I wouldn't think too much about it. Just be yourself. Thank you. I think I feel a little better about it now. Hmm, we should try to figure out how to get down from here. I might have an idea. I've been working on a little something for a while now. This is going to blow your mind! Definitely not to looking down. Whew. That might take some time getting used to. I love it! That was awesome! <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it will help us get around the forest more easily. Thank you. 
made it! Oh, Bed, how I've missed you. Wait! You can't nap now. We need to set up the cauldron. Now? Can't we do it tomorrow instead? Didn't you say that you were curious about the food? Hmm. I did say that, didn't I? Oh, okay, fine. But don't complain if I'm being cranky. I think I can handle it. I'll be waiting by the workbench. bath for too long. Yeah, maybe you're right. If we need more ploops or droop stones, we can probably find some laying around nearby. has to be the most delicious food I've ever eaten! Exactly! It's too good! Which means I will never again be satisfied with anything I've eaten before. Oh, um... How exactly is that a problem? 
Don't you see? Now I need to find more things to cook, more flavors to explore. And for every new meal I create, my desire to create more delicious food will increase until I become mad. Are you sure that you're not just overthinking this? I just don't want it to end up like that one time when I started mixing my own colors. I became obsessed and it almost consumed my life. Mm hmm. Yes, I remember it quite well. Actually, I will probably never forget about it. Right? And now I will probably become obsessed with delicious food. I'm sure you'll be fine. I don't think it will become a problem because we both know what happens when you eat too much. Y yes, of course. <sighs> Maybe you are right. Maybe I am overthinking this. But I am going to look for more things to cook. This was amazing. Oh, it's getting late. I should probably go to sleep. So, you got any good stories for tonight? Hmm. I think we're getting a bit too old for made-up stories. What? Says who? The whistle bugs? Sorry, maybe another time. I'm just so very tired right now. <sighs> okay, fine. What's going on? I, I saw the forest, and then everything was burning, and the animals were scared, and you were in a cage. It was probably just a nightmare. Go back to sleep. But it felt different. It was like I was there and could feel everything. Uh huh. And one more thing there was this huge tree. I think something was calling for me and wants me to go there. I... I think the forest spirit was trying to reach out to me. Wait, hold on a second, just... Give me a moment here. Can you repeat all that? <sighs> just... I really think I need to find that tree. Okay. What, now? Yes, otherwise the forest could be in danger. Are you sure it wasn't just a dream? What about all the raiders out there? I... But... You think I'm crazy? Yeah, but this does sound very important to you. <sighs> Let's find your tree and see what it has to say. Oh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Awesome. Let's just make sure that we are prepared for anything. We should probably stock up on some food. <laughs> 